play games Fuck you too, man. Fuck you there you too, go, man. and that's Fuck the attitude. Are, and and, and this is going to lead on to the Dean of Islam, right, Mr. Right. Jedi Mind Trick. You'll understand it later. Yeah, let's get, let's well, get, let's get, get to your okay, Steve. What I was, was going to say, this, right, this sort of aggression and violent attack that happened last week, unfortunately, two or three years ago, had become pretty much the norm <laughs> in Speaker's Corner. But, yeah. over, but, yeah. but over the last... Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Confirmation. But over the last two or three years, we've really worked on stamping it out. Both the, the Speaker's Corner Forum, the regulars, working hand in hand with the police, we have stamped out the vast majority of that violence that was happening two or three years ago. And basically, there is a long, 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 long list of people that are now being banned, people that have been convicted, people that have been put on exclusion orders to take these troublemakers away from Speaker's Corner. So. The typical reality is now that we have far, far fewer examples of this violent act. But unfortunately, it seemed to have crept back last week. But believe me, I can assure you, the regulars and the police will do everything we can to make sure that that violence does not creep back and to Speaker's Corner. And guess who was corner. back last week? Muhammad Well, Harvey. precisely, precisely. Is it, is and, it a coincidence? And, and we know some of the culprits who have been banned from Speaker's Corner and are still continuing their nonsense online in live streams. Seven, even... 11 hour streams I think I heard about where they're just baiting each other and taunting each other and whipping up violence but I tell all of them you ain't returning here and doing it here because the police and the speaker's corner regulars will do stop at nothing to make sure that you're banned along with all the other violent thugs who've been banned from speaker's corner but what the police do continually say is they can do very very little unless the victims speak to the police unless the victims make reports to the police now we will support them the regulars will support them in doing that but if they don't do that the police's hands are really tied in dealing with these violent thugs that we do not want at speaker's corner as, as Raj said, Speaker's Corner is the home of free speech, has been for many, 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 many years. If people cannot hack freedom of speech, then as Raj said, the gate is that Over way. Here, if you can't handle people dissing your religion, dissing your prophet, the gate is that way. Leave. Don't knowingly come to Speaker's Corner, the home of free speech, and be so damn thin-skinned that you want to punch someone for doing no more than speaking words because you're a little sad little boy and a sad little thug you shouldn't be out on the streets let alone in speaker's corner the home of free speech so have some damn tolerance accept the fact that your religion your sensitivities might be inflamed but if you can't handle that anger stay away because if you don't stay away the police will make you stay away the regular of the speaker's corner will make you stay away and He's going to jump and, and what I'm going to call to the, to the many good, decent Muslims that come to Speaker's Corner, join us in dealing with these idiots, with these violent thugs, because believe me, they are not doing your religion any good. Believe me, they are not doing good dawa when they thump someone for no more than speaking nasty, hurty words. Believe me, that is doing the biggest damage to your faith and your religion. So I plead upon the, the Muslim brothers, and I know some of them believe, oh, we mustn't criticize our Muslim brothers publicly. Well, that is doing seriously bad dawah. That is doing bad stuff to the Islamic faith. And one of them who's standing here now with a camera, who's just walked away, who got triggered in my face earlier for, 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 for some unknown reason, is the man himself. No, I don't want to shake your hand. <laughs> and he takes his. Oh, he apologises now and he oh, removes his mask. Can I say, yeah, 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 yeah. any uh, any adult, any adult that comes to Speaker's Corner with a face mask should not be here. But unfortunately, the, again, the police's hands are tied because the current law does not allow the police to remove force masks. He's racist. He's racist. He's racist. And what were you calling me? Ed? What were you calling? me earlier. Uh, racist. Oh, and, okay, what okay, yeah, yeah, and what else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of and what else? And what else? He's a racist. He's a nasty, hurty words. I apologize. Are you so thin-skinned? Right, right, yes. You cannot the EDL have nasty, hurty words. The EDL are not welcome here too. Okay. Okay. There's no EDL here. Unless, unless you got. Where are EDL? Are there any EDL here? Unless you got thick skin. 
Silence! You see? What's up? You're, you're yeah, living a delusion. Yeah, but, but the thing is, Steve, he has us here. They were here. Yeah. This applies to everyone, including Sikhs. By them. Because yeah. even with Sikhs, even with Hindus, yeah, any religion that comes in, if you can't take what you're going to hear, don't walk in. You're volunteering to walk in. No one's asking you to stand there and listen. No one's telling you to come in. Now, these people walking past, they might not know what's going on there, in that sense. But if you do know what's happening, and the reason you come down from Birmingham, like M Stacks, and all of these guys. We're travelling all the way down from Birmingham to London, getting here, covering your face, <laughs> and physically <laughs> smacking people. I mean, you're a bit of a loser, aren't you? All right, you're one hell of a uh, bit of a loser. I, I do thank Steve. Hudson was actually going to... I have a different analysis to these gentlemen. I think you've been very kind. I actually believe that Islam is the cause of this. And we have seen this pattern for way too long here. Missionaries being threatened. I've been threatened many times, evidence to it. And this is what um, the Dawah program. So today I'm going to reveal what the Dawah actually have as a manual to propagate their religion. It's the IAM. So we're going to expose um, the, um, the trajectory. Where is Adnan Rashid? And it's called the Dean, the Dean of Islam. Adnan Rashid! So hear this out, this is very interesting. Islam is a Dean, a way of life, not a religion. Mark this out. This is what the Islamic Brotherhood, who made the Dawah program. Islam is a Dean, a way of life, not a religion. As the West mostly understand it, it is an ideology, a code of conduct that governs an entire spectrum of human life, individual and collective. So when we have groups of people that mass together to intimidate those that go against their religion, or we have uh, two misguided Muslim men, or three to be exact, and they say, oh, you insulted our prophet, you Jew boy. We only need to go to Quran 929. And he says, fight this those... This is not necessary our views. No, this, this is, is not this your is a Christian so it says, fight the unbelievers where you find them and those that don't believe in Allah and his, you know, his apostle and the people of the book until they pay the jizya make sure they submit. So, we so the great white if, hope you, if you are <laughs> join us, great white hope, join us. The great white hope, come in. If you are challenging yeah. the great white hope, please do not disturb my I've been patient to hear everybody and I'm not here to actually um, entertain myself. I don't like cameras, I'll be very frank with you. I'm just here to do one civic duty and I'll be off. But the point I'm saying is that the Dean of Islam has encouraged, not this guy, I really respect you, you've always been calm. Well, you do follow Islam, but you're not a Muslim in the sense of the guys. No, you're not an example in the sense of what those guys, those guys were following the traditions that believe, that fight. I'm not saying everything has to be violent. No, not necessarily. Fighting can come in generic. You can do passive aggression, you can use physical aggression. Let's not, let's be like adults here. We're not talking with people with low intelligence One of the things I found disappointing was that Necessarily, that I knew them like, like, they're thuggish yeah. anyway. Yeah. But it was the response yeah. when they I'm come back from the weekend and online, everyone's saying, Big them up, big them up. There's only two I mean, people, I won't say the names, that I can condemn that. I'm not, I'm not saying you're right. one of them. One thing. So that was my problem. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah. The big up to them. Yeah, it's really important I get my message because I was the one that was threatened out to come outside. So, like I said, I am at peace with everyone. My Bible tells me if you persecute me, I will, you know, my God will do whatever he wants to bless me. Not, not, that is not the issue. There was an no, anti-Semitic incident and the, the guys that were responsible for it did not take responsibility for it. And the community cannot do anything because the guy that was actually assaulted will not press charges with the police. People that come here to have free speech cannot be curtailed because certain people think that they can roam as pack of wolves to attack people of other faiths that disagree. If you are coming to Speaker's Corner, there are many people here that do not agree with Muhammad's way of life. That is a fact that you have to deal with yourself. This is a Western democracy. We're not in Saudi Arabia. We're not under Sharia law. People here do not know your religion. But look at all these Muslims, they're fine. I don't understand. Okay, they are fine, but the people that actually caused this incident were not fine. And they could justify their actions with the book of Islam, which is the Quran. I can give you the verses, I can give you the tafsir. 329. 329. Fight those that don't believe in Allah in the last day. Simple. Fight. It did not say you have to behead them or that. That's 8.12. But 9.29 says it clearly. Fight can be in passive aggression. That can insult you that's fighting. Fighting can be very generic. And that's what I say that they're following the traditions. Why do they say Jew boy? 
Why did they mention that word? What was the point of mentioning the religion of the guy that they attacked? Why would they be upset with a Jewish guy speaking about their prophet? Join us, Because their religion teaches them that. Narrative. Join us now. Join the line. I do not believe that all Muslims are troublemakers. I believe it's a small minority of Muslims that don't know how to act. Cultural Muslims, a lot of other Muslims here, there are many I've gone to have coffee with, and they're cool and calm. There are many here that actually one of the cameramen of the Dow is my friend for 20 something years. Are we keep it on the, I'm not going to mention his name. I'm going to keep it quiet. Oh, not that one. No, not that one. But there are other people here that have been caught on that are in the old Bailey for. Very serious charges. But it wasn't him, they said. Regardless. Jordan, what are you saying? I'll let him finish it. Oh, yeah. um, so, my narrative is please, Muslims, stop hecking to cause aggression. Take example of this gentleman here. He has never been nasty. He never has to say an evil thing. You know, he's a great white hope. Stop well, hating Jordan. He's DJ I, I respect him. And somebody I respect. And this is the kind of character that we would expect from the Muslims. Listen to other people's views. If you don't like it, it's very easy to walk away. But leave violence. If I'm the one you select, then, you, then you're going against what you're saying about Islam. Because if I'm following Islam, what do you mean I'm not following Islam? Um, I, do personally, you I, don't think, I, don't, I don't see you as a Muslim. I just think okay. you're oh, one of no. those that has, has taken the uh, traditions and you've got a romanticized view of so Islam. So a Muslim to you is, uh, is someone who goes I, around insulting I, people and a bunch of people. I would say that uh, your, my your, view of a Muslim, if you go to the Sahara where I'm from and see what's going on there, you understand Islam. I think the guys here, you're cultural Muslims. You're not living. Because if you if you look at the if you look at the Sunnah of the Hadith, it says that a real Muslim will not live with the unbelievers. So that long just disproves your religion. So please, I don't want to come here to preach a theology, but I don't regard cultural Muslims as Muslims. That's the reality of my view. I'm not a cultural Muslim. Um, well, you're not born, you're, you say you're a real Muslim, that you follow the Sunnah and, the, and everything. Okay, that's fair you enough. But I don't see you as a Muslim as the one from, from where I come from. That's, the, that's my opinion. But your faith is between can I, you can and your... summarise what you, you sort of used the actions of a couple of people down there. Uh, it'd be a bit like me saying, look, Bob the Builder smacked someone in the face with the Quran. The Christians need to sort this out and they're coming down here. I, I've been down here, I've come down here for the past year and a half. Okay. Would you agree that there's mostly Muslims down here? I don't know. I, I wouldn't see when without you around, there's more Muslims than everyone else. There's more, there's more Muslims than everyone else. So by, by ratio, you'd expect there to be more incidents. You've also got a lot more people criticising Islam than you have anyone else. You guys are called DCCI. I'm not DCCI. Okay, well, some of you are. There you go. I'm from okay, another so some, some of you So this are. is another mistake. Okay, okay, because a lot of people, I, I will. You're online, a lot of people say I'm in D I'm not in DCCI, I'm an evangelist. I'm well, a this way, I only, admit, I only really hear you talk about Islam most of the time when I see you. That could be coincidence. But if I see you, if I see Cain, people like this, all I ever see is, is mostly about the prophet piece, whatever. Mostly the prophet. Mostly quite, quite, quite vile stuff. Okay. Okay. I'll say one thing. A lot of Muslims come here and they tell me that I insult the prophet and I insult Allah. Name one thing I've said about the prophet on any video. I can't say you. I can't say you. But I've, I talk you about. Seen others, no, you, you know what I do? I, I'm here and this is where Hudson This is not personal, listen. me, but no, I know it's not. I know. But I'll be very frank. I talk about the deen of Islam, the way of life. I don't believe Islam's a religion, so I don't waste my time on the Prophet or Allah. I talk about the attitude where violence is used as intimidation tactics. That is the deen of Islam. That's what I'm here to talk about. Look, if you walk, if you walk from that end to that end of Speaker's Corner, and you walk past, and I've tried it, you will see at least three people talking badly about the Prophet. Um, you, won't, you won't hear that about Jesus. Saying, so you won't hear what that they about What do they say badly Jesus. about the Prophet? Yeah, yeah. Give us an example. Yeah, yeah. example. Yeah, yeah. It, could, it could be anything. Camel no, no, urine. Say it, one it could be camel urine. Did, urine. did he talk about camel urine? Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying. But oh, no, did the Prophet talk about camel urine? Yes. So what's that talking bad about it? Look, let me finish my point. Don't put yourself in the gutter. Be sensitive. No, no, listen. Be genuine. I'm in the gutter. Are you saying that? I'm not allowing it. The point is, you walk from this end to this end, and you will hear a variety of people uh, going against Islam uh, constantly, week after week. So there are more Muslims, and there are more people criticizing Islam. So by ratio, you should have more incidents. I actually don't see many incidents from Muslims down here when I come down here. I actually think the Muslims are very patient down here. I, I think they show themselves very well. I think Tan is an example. Tan was down here for a whole year saying he wants to depopulate Muslims. 
Uh, masturbate on the Quran, throw it on the floor. Let me finish. Tam was barely touched. So I think, big up the Muslims. The Muslims didn't really didn't do anything to him. But by your logic, you're saying he, he, should, have he should have been killed. He should have been killed. That was only that was only when that was only when he turned on. That was only when he turned on the Tommy Boys. That's a misinterpretation. I have to be honest. One of the things I will intercede when I feel a misinterpretation of my voice. Like I said, I'm here to talk about. I don't believe Islam's a religion because the Dawa program says Islam's not a religion. That is not my opinion. That's the Islamic Brotherhood that made the Dawa program that you guys are all. Why haven't I seen the Dawa program? I don't know. Because you haven't seen the Dawa program. This Islamic Dawa team. Because you probably haven't done your research, but I have done my research. So it's not. I cannot curtail other people's ignorance. But my point is, I actually think the Muslims deserve credit for their behaviour down here. How many times have you seen me threatened with knife Trying to push it. Trying to push this narrative. Several times. Trying to push the narrative that the Muslims are all. You know, you can't insult the Prophet peace on down here. Nonsense. Did it I push that narrative? Let's yes. get the words yes, here. No, yes, I will did. explain all, all myself of you again. All of you did. Last week, a Jewish guy was here and they said, Don't insult Aisha, don't insult the Prophet, you Jew boy. And then they attacked him. I went there to protect this guy from attack and then I got also threatened. Come outside. Yes. That is what I'm coming here to talk. Do not change the narrative yeah, because it's exactly disingenuous. I'm talking about speakers. I don't agree with these thoughts. I do think there are a lot of Muslims that hear a lot of stuff and I'm complimenting some of them and they don't react in the, in the, sense, in the, in the sense they argue against the they have the right to do that but there is a, a small core error element that is very disruptive and I'm going to call their names out it starts with Muhammad Harweed when I first come in threatened to knock me out uh, there's a lot of other people that have threatened me that come from these kind of mindset. Now, I'm not saying you or Shamsi or any of these guys, because you guys are doing the Dawa and these guys yeah. in an amazing way. But unfortunately, this small little minority, and I won't call them a minority, are so disruptive. Like last week, the videos that are going to come out of them, what they're doing, is actually doing you a good service. So what I was disappointed with was that I thought M Sax, uh, Grey Dunia, Shake One, and a couple of people would have been pulled up by the Muslim brothers on the panel. Right. But they weren't, apart from two people, I don't want to say the name, everybody else is saying, well done, you defended our prophet, you defended Aisha. And that's not the way to do it with speakers corner, it ain't the road. So, so I'm, not, I'm not saying that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't agree with you. I don't know how Muslims are coming down here to constantly do it. But when you don't condemn the ones that are behaving thuggish, we're going to start looking at a whole and thinking you're not condemning. Let me, let me ask you this why is it that you guys can mention two people and hold into account the whole Muslim Wait, or not? You guys mentioned two. I didn't mention any names. You two people. No, who did I mention? two people came down. I said three people. No, but I didn't mention their name. So I just said. Did I say that? Okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. That's what you said. Well, you're getting triggered, James. You're changing your side to plus. Jordan, Jordan, I'm not getting triggered. I'm not getting triggered. I'm not getting triggered. But my point is, why is it when, for example, Bob Builder hits someone with a Quran? I've seen other attacks out here. Why are they not? Why is everyone else not held accountable? What do you mean? Uh, why, if why, you, if why, you look at that if incident Sachs, with if uh, Sachs, this guy has done something wrong, it was actually Grey Dunia. Why are like everybody? This Grey Dunia. I've just found out now. It's Grey Dunia that actually fucking. So it's Grey Dunia. So Grey Dunia is a regular. Here. You should know better. I, I don't really know what happened there. But if, if, I, you, you if, if, I you example, if I bought you an example of two Christians that was attacking somebody, am I going to come up here and say, No, give no, us the evidence to it. Where is the evidence? Yeah, don't yeah, make supp it, supp it, supp it, supp it, suppositions when they don't exist. I can give you an example. Three angels came from heaven and they smacked everybody on the back of their head. Let's try and talk rationally because let me give you a time. I'll give you an example and I've already said it. Builder hitting some around the face what, of the what, what happened in no, the but Bob said he what happened before? Oh, you're yeah. context. No, no, but we, we, we can't get the context the other. No, Bob said he was hit on the foot. It's different. Bob said he was hit on the foot, so is it? But that also, was Bob apologised. Okay. 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 You, you, you hit me on the foot now. I wouldn't do I'm that. I'm not going to strike you in the face. Oh, fantastic. I'm not going to strike But I'm not talking about Bob. We're talking about Bob apologised. Bob apologised. Stabbed. Bob stabbed an umbrella. Bob apologised. You can agree, Jordan, that what he did was, oh, he just went too far. He clearly not. His reaction how he'll try and justify that. Muslim, I did not justify anything. But, but, I did not make. Did. No. What did I change? What, what, wait, 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 where did you I justify? Don't use words. Is it wrong? Is this it is wrong? another part was of the wrong? Deen of was Islam. Was it wrong? Make yourself was it wrong? be the victim when you're the aggressor. Yes, it doesn't do work with me. I know you're a nice guy, Jordan, but I don't hold clutches 
when I'm up against opposition. Last week I was threatened. There were 12 people circling me that were yes. ready to do it's violence. On camera. I'm it's not on camera. taking this as a tribute. No one's answered my question. I'm they're dangerous. They're not guys. They're dangerous. These guys are dangerous. Well, they threatened me with violence. And now they're turning the table saying that Christians are attacking women. My question is this. I'm not saying that. 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 I'm not saying that.
I admit I am not. You put yourself in a spotlight. Yeah, and I put yourself there. And you and you and you provoke. All right. I don't believe I provoke. But it's true. I believe a lot of times. I don't just go up to people. I'm not saying you deserve to be I'm just saying I don't just go up to someone and say, I ain't paying that bullshit, Jizia. Yeah, you do. They normally have done something to me, and then I react. When I was in the park, you you had this shirkmas thing, and you come up to me. Yeah, yeah. That was shirkmas. Funny next year as well. Next year as well. I mean, that's more fun. Okay. This has been very fantastic. The entertainment with you two gentlemen, and I really do appreciate. Like I said, what I wanted to do was conclude one very simple matter. We need to, whatever community you are in, whatever your beliefs, violence is not part of this place. That's what people's torment needs to be. Well done. So there's a lot of guys. Everyone should not be violent towards each other. If you want, if you're Muslim and you're looking for a positive role model, follow Jordan. I would say follow this man. Don't follow the rhetoric that the Muslims down here are violent. That the Muslims down here don't let people criticize. Actually, Yakub is James anyway. They do. Come down and you'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see it. Uh, okay, true, true. the second incident is that uh, anti-Semitism should be ignored, not ignored in society. We need to stifle this because we have to look at where does it go, where does the line get drawn. If we allow people to attack other people because they're Jews, what next? If, uh, if it was a few white guys that attacked a black guy and said the N-word, how would you people react, the Muslim black males? And all the Christian black males. If um, what they call it, a few, a couple of black guys attacked a white guy and called him something else, how would we feel? So we can't allow any kind of discrimination. If people are soft-hearted and can't take criticism of their faith, I'd advise you not to come here. There are a lot of provocative um, statements made. One example, Titus 3:11. We are allowed as Christians to rebuke false doctrine. So I can say that you have a false prophet. Yes. You worship a false god. Right. My Bible gives me that authority. Yeah. So I can do that according to my scriptures. And I will not deny that. I know in Islam, you're allowed to fight wait, wait, wait. the unbelievers. You've gone from community and now you've gone back I'm to just Islam giving, again. I'm giving you an example. Hold on. Hold on. Gone it's it's, go it's, it's whether, it's whether you agree or not. But there's some things that the law of this country will be upheld above my beliefs. In this place, I'm allowed to express my beliefs literally. Yes, in here. That is yes. all right. But That's when you sure. start using violence, that goes against the laws of the land. And then you're going to ask you one question. Did you report the incident? No, I didn't because no. I wasn't the person oh, attacked. Right, right. So I went there to as oh, a no, peacemaker. No, but, but this is I was one, not involved. This is one of the biggest problems we're having when, we, when we're talking about this. Because everyone calls me a snitch. Our Raj is always reporting to the police. But the problem is that people don't do it. So your video, I reported that to the police. They had no one else do it. So if they're not getting these reports, although they can't do nothing legally because no crime is really being committed, if they don't get the report, then there's no incidents on the lot. Yeah. And so when they look at the yearly report, it's oh nothing happened at speaker's corner. Yeah. Now obviously I take it a bit too far and I go mad and I like, report everything. But there have been certain things that I've heard in the grapevine that are very dangerous. So we need we need to start using the police as well. So anyone's doing anything, well, even if it's me. Even yeah. if I'm not saying reporting to the people, but even if it is, we me, have no problem reporting. Then, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying that yeah. every, even if it I'm is me, it. I've said to the police. If that's the case, I'd also advise Muslims to report because at the moment, yeah, Muslims, don't, Muslims, don't, Muslims, don't, Muslims, don't, Muslims don't report. Muslims don't report as much as, as much as the other side. I, I will say one thing in regards. I'm here as a missionary to preach the gospel. I'm not a law enforcement officer. Yeah. I, I let those, those that deal with the law enforcement deal with that aspect. We really want to just preach. We're not really. Um, yeah. We, we're and not I, interested in getting you should preach inside more. the... You should, people um, want to hear that well, message. we are on the yeah. pulpit. We're I hear you, I hear you. I, hear, I, I, I listen to a lot of you guys. And, I, and, and we're like, just preaching I want to learn about the Bible. Yeah. And, and, you get Islam, 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 Islam. So Islam, let's Islam. get back to this. Christ. If anybody's talking about people preaching the gospel, no one can up for our, our church. Chris, you see us, we preach in other parts of London. You're very right there. So we do preach the gospel. That's not Islam. We don't talk about Islam, funny enough. But we... Do we? Do we? Do I talk about Islam? Not so much him. Dude, you no. one gets to there you go. Yeah, there you Not go. so much, but so he does. A lot of people have got me messed up with another missionary. That is not what our view. We're here to preach the gospel. Yeah, I really am not interested in threats of violence. They will not be carried out, I can assure you that. And oh, number, two, number three, we're standing here and you're talking about Islam Kiyah! and you're saying he doesn't talk about Islam. <laughs> people people oh, yeah. be good, are confronting man. me from that faith and they're saying that make insults of the prophets are being made. Yeah. So they're oh, right. using the religion yeah. as a basis to, yeah. you know, um, consolidate their position against on, me. Up, what I'm trying to say is very simple. I'm really here to preach the gospel. You can see with Pastor John, you can confirm. We're not really there to approach Islam. We're just screaming Jesus is Lord. 
Oh, there you go. I'm not, I am not with DCCI, and I'll make the statement for the 11th time. I'm not with DCCI. What they do in their mission, I agree with 100%. Their channel says, Why would a regular think that he is? Why would a regular think that he is? Why would that? Defending Christ criticizing Islam. That is their missionary. My missionary is very different. We're here to preach the gospel of salvation. Christ died on the cross, resurrected on the third day in remission of sin. That is what we're here to do. Now, there's another factor here. Yeah, we, the people in our church. Who else is with you? Um, John uh, Hudson, uh, Corey, there's a few in the background. But in regards to this incident, why I tried to play Peacemaker was very simple. I saw one guy being assaulted by a group of other people that said, you assaulted our prophet, and they said, you Jew boy. That is racist. And I, as a human being, forget my faith. I had to intercede. Uh, because I tried to intercede, a, few, a couple of people caused aggression <laughs> from outside. I called their bluff. I knew they weren't going to do anything. That's why you can see me smiling through the videos. But controlling the atmosphere with an assertive nature rather than an aggressive nature. What I try to say to a lot of Muslims here that were offended by our uh, rhetoric, I'm really here to preach the gospel. I'm not here to challenge the prophet. But as a Christian, Titus 3.11, I'm allowed to rebuke any false doctrine. Yeah, yeah. So if I say your God is not the God of the Bible, if I say I don't believe in oh, your prophet, don't go I'm route. allowed to do that. Um, that route. It's that funny route. that you say that. Why don't I attack um, a Sikhism or no, uh, Buddhism or yeah. other? Yeah, we, we do he talk about Islam. He just appeared uh, it. Why ain't that going? We, we do yeah. talk about yeah. other religions yeah. that we don't believe in. Yeah. But the yeah. reason is, is because you know, when we are preaching, oh, we have yeah. hecklers yeah. like, uh, oh. what's his name, Uncle Abdul or whatever, Jamal, that starts screaming or they're trying to I would like to thank all of you for your time. Thank you, Jordan. What I really hope is that a lot of our Muslim guys that are younger, they use you as a benchmark for their morality. Oh, yeah. That they keep uh, themselves um, the more the great white hope. <laughs> no, it, please let's not I use uh, that. There were other Muslims here that are well articulate, they're well reserved, they've got good character. Not Muhammad this is not what to do with religion. Not what it is Muhammad to do with is the attitude. Oh, okay. Some home. of us okay. as seniors need to the younger snacks. guys. There's a way to behave yeah, in public, and they should know that yeah, yeah. Okay, their bad okay. actions do reflect on your religion. It's like if I'm a Christian and I go here now and I go and kick somebody's backside, a lot of people count my faith as being a failure. Yeah. So this is yeah. another reason why we keep composure. I agree well, with what you're saying. Yeah. And, and you, you disagree with Bob the Builder hitting the guy in the face. I, I did not say I disagree. Uh, I said there was a reaction. No, I said there was a, no, I'll be, I'll be very mine. frank with you. There was a reaction there. Yeah, yeah. It's not me yeah. that did it. I think it, I'm all up for calling people out. As long as it's just constantly Islam, 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 Islam. Yeah, you, I, I will not call people out in an incident I was not involved with. Because yeah. I was not that person. It's just, so it's I was just true to say that 95% of those people that have been given exclusion orders from Speaker's Corner are of a Muslim faith. There now that's go. not saying Ooh. all Muslims that come here are violent. Is that true? Is that true? Yes, I like to see that. I like to see that. Shall we run through the names now? Go on, go on, Stevie. Oh, do it. I, I might need some help. So, yeah. Rat Boy, yeah. Uncle Omar, <laughs> Mohammed Tawi, Abdul Hamid, Modi, Modi. There's loads, but they're not important. You've got a handful. There's 18, got a handful. 18 members of Anjum Chowdhury's <laughs> outfit. Bilal, so that's Bilal, add 18 Bilal, to 5. Bilal, 23. Um, Bilal, I believe. So that's 26. And can you name any numbers that have been banned? Um, so, uh, and would you even know about it? Uh, uh, what's, Rajiv. What's, Rajiv, the guy that beat the guy. Rajiv, is he, yeah, is he not, not Muslim or is he not? No, 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 Isabella, Steve Barnes, Isabella. Isabella, so that's two. Okay. She she's um, yeah. Busker yeah. was third. Yeah, yeah, he he, 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 he punched her at boy. Yeah. So she <laughs> so 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 right. yeah. Yeah. Like three versus five. five, five, five. five. <laughs> no, no, we did say the percentage yeah, of the percentage 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 of the
you know what? Anyway, you know, wrap it up. Stand back. Wrap it up. Stand back. Wrap it up. Oh, you wrap it up. You know what? Yeah, 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 big up the rest of the patients. Don't edit it. Jordan, please start the wrap up. Do you have anything? Can you give us a wrap? Free stuff. The point I want to make is that obviously when I saw everyone, it's. The Muslims. Oh, um, when, you, when, I saw, when I came over, it was the Muslims need to understand here, the Muslims need to do that. I made the points earlier that I think there are more Muslims here than non-Muslims. And there are also a lot more provocateurs against Muslims, so by ratio you'd expect more incidents. I don't think there are. I think, the Muslims, I think the Muslims generally are very patient down here. I'm not saying there aren't examples, and you've brought up one. But I, th I think this, this narrative that the Muslims down here are violent and you can't criticise the Prophet peace on him is nonsense. Come down here and see. I don't think he's saying Takia. That's your opinion. Wrap up, guys. Uh, well, people can come down yeah, and see so, themselves. No, no, no. Right, so, uh, it, uh, I, I, although I kind of agree with my, my <laughs> Christian brother, uh, Yakub, yeah, that there is a, a, a problem. There definitely is. There's no way you can kind of not say there is it because I've experienced it and other people have experienced it. I gave an example when I was talking to people online or giving them hypothetical. If you come in and said, Jesus is XYZ, what would happen to you? They will say nothing. If you said something about the Gurus, yeah. we'll be upset, but probably nothing. If you said something about Hinduism, nothing. But if you said something about Prophet Muhammad and Aisha, there is a chance that something heated will happen, or even somebody might intimidate you and threaten you. And that's not that's undeniable. But I do disagree. I do disagree. I think it's a small component, but they are such a vile lot. And I'm yeah, going to name yeah. the names. Muhammad Tarweed is back. And he is one of the instigators of most. Of them. I've been threatened by him. Lots of people. Have. You have M stacks that started coming from Birmingham. Uh, Grey Dunia was the one that is now being told is the one that allegedly tried to attack the guy and he's a regular here. Sheikh One threatened acid on me and he uh, said he's going to come to my home even though he's got my home address. He's going to follow me home on speaker's corner and they're always masked up and stuff. So there is a real problem. Uh, the Muslim community just saying, oh, there's not a problem, it's not going to work. Because you're making yourself look bad. When I jumped online, every, a lot of people, 90% of people were bigging up M stacks and all of those goes well done you defending our yeah, prophet I, honor. I saw all the videos so now I if you don't want us to relate it to islam then when we see the video and people saying don't uh, disrespect our prophet don't disrespect aisha this is why you're getting this we're going to link it to islam it's not exactly, rocket science. obviously yeah we so, will link so at best they ignore the problem at worst they actually big it up the war and, and then when you get one, one minute one minute one minute there were two people i don't want to say the name because they're going to get the stigma of the raj it's like a poison chalice there were two people and uh, they did give it to them and they were friends with them as well. They said that what you did was wrong, and but everybody else was sticking up for them. Well, I'd, I'm not sure which two you're referring yeah, you to. Are, you I'm, want I'm only aware of no, one. The I'm only aware of one that has publicly spoken out against them, and he's been completely castigated yeah, by, by the group, thrown out Facebook Please. groups, completely right. ignored for not doing, not changing his faith in any way, shape, or form, but simply speaking out against the thugs, speaking out against terrorism, and they've completely black sheeped him. I will go down to the statement I made before. There has been a systematic pattern of uh, missionaries here being intimidated by uh, those of the, you know, Dawa crowd. I wouldn't say the uh, popular Dawa to... members. There's a culture of intimidation. I think people at need night to as well. at night, especially at night. night. Um, there's been um, some missionaries that complain that they've been sexually assaulted. So you know, we need to be frank. I, I'm not a shrinking violent. I, I face issues that others are not ready to talk about. This is and I'm just Greeks. saying that this intimidation tactic this is the Greeks of today. should not be um, should not be made trivial. We need to know that somebody was attacked for being a Jew. We need to stop this kind of activity. Those, uh, 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 what I what I believe, I really believe that law enforcement has to take place on these matters to try and keep those that would try and bring violence. So you're not reporting. Um, I was not right. involved. I, I know, but you were. You were. No, I tried to break up. Dude, please. Yeah. The word snitch is not in my yeah, vocabulary. I can, I can like tell you now. I agree with you. It doesn't, know, agree, it it doesn't right exist. We should report it. You I report but every time you let right. one go, I it's not you. I'm not saying you mean that in Snitch is a meaningless word. You must report because when we go to the meetings, the police meetings, they, they put out the they put out the kind of statistics okay. and they say no one's reporting. Right. Let, let me let me speak on my behalf. I, lo I appreciate everyone's um you know. Um, mine's very big. My Do you make the yogurt drink? No, I don't. Oh, I, don't. I, don't. Oh, I got a lactose. Oh, slander. Yeah, 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 slander. Close. Yakult. Okay. Uh, All right. Yakult. Yakub. 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 Yak
Well, we'll get back to this. Sorry. Um, a lot of missionaries here, we know that we'll suffer persecution. So this is why we tolerate it as Christians. I'm not upset with people threatening me with violence. I'm a big boy. I can get through. But there are some vulnerable people here that come here that are not necessarily strong enough to defend themselves. Last year, a 70-year-old Jewish woman was found lying on the ground with blood on her head. She was attacked by Muslim antagonists here. They attacked her because she was a Jewish woman. A 70-year-old woman should not feel threatened to come here. And not last week, a Jewish man was attacked. So this is a pattern. The same reason you insulted our prophet. I'll say this again. People don't like hearing the truth. The, re the reasons were religious and racist. Simple. This is not rocket science. I don't need to get some dawah manual and some excuses. Face the realities. Missionaries here are threatened. You are evidence. I've been threatened with being stabbed here, haven't I? Yes. You've been beaten up yes. more than 14 times. I don't say it. This is the first time I say it because I know nothing will happen. No, I, it's not about... No, this is the problem that people don't understand. If the police are getting, are getting no reports, so when we go to the meetings and we're saying there's issues, they say, well, there's no reports. We need, we need at least a, someone to log in. Like I said, my faith teaches me that persecution will arise. I'm here to preach the gospel. I'm not here to play law and force. But I'm just saying that one day, if people are not checked, the community leaders of whether the Islamic faith or the people here, they need to show a kind of um, responsible approach to stop these guys from having these violent tendencies towards people that say a subject that's different to what they want to hear. You, if you come to Speaker's Corner, people will offend you. I had a vegan say, don't have children or don't eat meat. I love meat. I, nothing's going to stop me eating meat. Do I go and kick the, do I kick the vegan off his ladder? No, because it, that's his opinion. And I know to tolerate it. So if I... You know, want... part, part of the problem is too much testosterone. They need to go and get a girlfriend or go home and have a five knuckle shuffle. That will resolve <laughs> Not problem. condone or if not I've condone anything here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's good to prevent the prostate cancer the as well, by the way. Plead the fifth. Oh, so can we wrap up because me and Steve need to... Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not doing anything with it. No, no, you, you guys, I'll leave the secular crowd. Okay. I thank you all for your audience. Thank you, Steve, for putting this on uh, Twitter. Well, you, you yeah, are part of the... You're secular as well. I am in a sense, uh, apart from my... Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Exit stage. Well, what, what am I doing now, Raz? Stay, Steve. We're going to talk about advocacy. Come on, you're going to find it fun. What I wanted to do is narrate. We can't trivialize this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, where's he going? All over.